Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the disc brakes and the pads on the Mercedes Sprinter. And for this installation, I'm going to go premium disc brakes, the drill rotors, which helps cool the disc more and also controls the dust a lot better. And for being high performance, it cools down the disc a lot faster by having these drill rotors here. And this is the high performance ceramic disc brakes. And the reason I'm going with the higher quality uh, disc rotors and ceramic disc brakes is because I told that behemoth there is about 5,000 pounds. And even though the trailer has four disc brakes, it helps a lot on the braking, but you can still feel it on the truck. So that's why I'm going with the higher quality disc brakes and disc pads. And even if you're not towing, these are better braking system for your van than the stock. So even though this is a little bit more expensive, but they're going to help you avoid accidents. And even if you're not towing cargo, they still going to brake a lot faster and avoid accidents out there. All right, to show you how to install this is very simple. Just take some time and we're going to start with the front tire. All right, and this kit comes with everything. Everything you're going to need for your installation on your sprinter disc brakes and pads installation. It comes with all the bushings, everything you're going to need. The only thing is this here. Now this did not come with the kit. But I'll place the link in the description below. This is a caliper disc brake expansion tool. And before you start jacking up the front, very important, secure the other side of the van. And the reason I don't use my emergency brake is because since I'm going to be changing the rear by using the emergency brake, it's not going to free up the rear rotor. Before I raise up the van 100% from the ground, I want to loosen this bolt so that way the tires don't spin. Just a little bit on all of them. Okay, now that they're all loosened, I'm gonna reset the van. Now that the tire's completely out, there's two bolts right here. This one and this one right here that we need to remove. Now we'll remove these two dust caps here and this one up here. All right, once you remove the dust caps, get an Allen wrench key here. You're going to loosen it. All right, and then this bolt will come out. And there's another one right up here. Be careful with these hoses. You don't break none of these hoses here. Very important. Okay, now we got the other bolt out. All right, so push these bushings a little bit back like this. And now remove the sensor. There you go, this is the sensor. We have to replace this also with the new ones. There it is. So now we have to remove these two bolts. And sometimes this bolt's a little harder, so you may want to loosen it up a little bit with a little bit of impact, like that. Loosen that one up and loosen the one on the top. That one's already loosened too. All right, so now we're gonna disconnect this right here. Open this clip up a little bit, like this. So we can put the uh, caliper in a safe position here. All right now, I'm going to place a box here so I can let the caliper rest up here. Once being disconnected from this here, this little clip, I'm gonna let it rest up here. All right, that's the top bolt. All right, there goes the second bolt. Now I can remove the pad holder assembly. There it is. Now we're gonna remove the disc brake. And the disc brake has a bolt right here. There we go. All right, so we're gonna reuse this bolt. There it is. All right, before putting the other disassembly with a wire brush, it's good to clean this up a little bit. That way we don't have any rust on the disc brake making any contact with it. And we have a complete surface to surface. All right, this is a new disc brake, and this is the old one. You can see the difference here. This one is wore out real deep in here. Look how deep this wear out has a big groove here. So by the disc being wear out so much, the disc gets hotter because it's thinner material, right? So now by having a new one, it's going to break a lot better. And as you can see, the holes here is going to cool down the disc and the pads. And these discs are directional, so they have here front, side, passenger, and they all have a sticker that shows you which one is for which wheel. Now we'll place this assembly 
and make sure this bolt right here is lined up with this middle bolt right there. Place a small little bolt here that holds the disc in place. <laughs> That's it. Now very important to remove the sticker. Comes out easier with a scraper. All right, so now we grab the pad holder. And the disc pads come with this new hardware. You can see here how thick the new ones are and uh, how wear out the old ones are. Now what we wanna do is remove. So we're gonna remove the old ones. Place the new ones in. All right, the one in the back. All right, they're both in. All right, to install the new pads, it comes already with this grease here. We want to put a little bit of this grease on where the metal to metal touch. A little bit of that grease there. Just move it around a little bit. Helps on the squealing, helps on the metal to metal parts. We're also going to do the other one here. Now the disc brake, there it is. And now bend this a little bit here. If you look at the old ones, they're bent a little bit. Let's just bend it a little bit. There's a reason why they did that. Now let's connect the other side. There it is. And now since this one comes with the uh, sensor, we're gonna install a new sensor that comes with the kit on this side here. And if you look, the old one is installed just like this to the inside. Very simple. Just put it in that's it now we're ready to install the disc pad holder assembly so now we need to retract the caliper and for that i have this tool here that i purchased on amazon i'll place the link in the description below and this is going to retract the caliper from the position they are right now this caliper is deployed uh, because the pad works thinner and when retracting the caliper to make it fit in the new disc you need to open this cup up because if this reservoir was full once you retract the caliper, some brake fluid might come out of here. So what I do is I just open it up. Now we're gonna put the ratchet in here. Very easy position. And this is gonna open up the caliper slowly and just gonna open it up. So that way the new pads can fit in here. This tool is a really good tool for this installation. It makes your job a lot easier and quicker. And remember, this kit also came with the new bushings. All right, remove this here. Now that we remove this, we can remove this bushing here. All right, now to put the new bushing in, we'll put it right through here. You're gonna push it right to towards the back. Push it towards the back. Grease in here. And now we're gonna place it in here. Okay, now that the new rubber is in, you see it? Now we're gonna push this in here. All the way until you see this little rubber right here clicks into place. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom part here. And don't forget also to put some grease in here. Put 
There it is. Now I'm gonna install the pads. And remember there's two bolts back here. These two bolts. Have the other bolt back here. Alright, everything's beautiful there. Tighten the bolt on top. Now we can put the caliber back on. And remember that this has to go right through this little hole opening here. And now we can start putting the bolt in. And now the top bolt. Now very important, it comes with new dust caps instead of the old ones. Better to put the new one. All right, very important, the new sensor to connect it. Just push it in. I remember that we loosened this clip right here. So now I'm gonna put this, there we go. All right, so everything is done here on the disc assembly, the brake pads, sensor, the caps, the new bushings, and the new pads. And this holds it back in place here. So now I can install the tire. Now that the front is done, I'm gonna show you how to do the rear brakes. Now there's two bolts right here, this one and this one down here that needs to be removed. Oh, there we go. That's it. I'll put it aside. Now that we remove the pad holder, we're gonna remove two bolts here, this two. Remove this bracket assembly. And we already had the pads removed. Before we install the new brake pads, remove these clips. Now remember, there's two sides of it, one for the left and one for the right. So if you see that it doesn't fit, it's because it's going to the other side. See, this one doesn't fit here. It goes on this side. That's it. Now, like the front ones, we're going to use a little bit of the grease. Spread it on the metal part that is touching. All right, the other pad is in. Now you see these bushings right here. We need to replace these bushings. Do the same thing we did on the front. Just attach them here. Remove this. It has some grease on it. We'll leave that grease in there. Now, and the kit is also provided the rear bushings. And if you look, they're exactly the same. So first we'll put the bushing like this. And then we'll put it right here on the bottom before we place it in. You see how it's in right now? Now we push it all the way in until we put this bushing over the bolt right there. Now I'm going to do the other side. All right, this is ready to go. Do the same thing we did in the front. It's just remove this bolt here. That's it. All right, you can compare them both here, the new and the old one. You can see this one has a deep groove inside. And remember again to remove all this rust. And also, like in the front, it has a sticker that says rear passenger side. And also like the other one, remove this. 
Now we can connect the brake pad assembly. Install the bolts. Top one. Now before installing the caliper, now you have to open up the caliper. But using this right here, you're not gonna need this larger portion. Just use the smaller portion right here. And softly open it up. Now we can place the caliper in. Press this little bushings in. It doesn't require a sensor. Now on the rear passenger, there's no sensor, but here on the driver's side, there is a sensor. The one in the rear monitors it looks like both because they're both being worn out at the same time. So they only put one on the rear here. Now all the brakes are done. Same process I did on the left hand side of the van. You can do it on the right hand side. It's just the same process. Remember the front brake has a sensor and the back one for this model doesn't have a sensor on the back. Some models may have it, but they do provide it on the kit. So you have it there. Now since the rotors and the pads are ceramic and the rotors have the openings, this van is going to brake a lot better especially when I'm towing 5,000 pounds behind it, even though this trailer has brakes, but it still pushes the van. So this is gonna be a lot better now for this heavy load uh, on the van. So this is gonna be a lot better braking. I will place the link in the description below of this kit. This kit fits all these models that I'm gonna list right here. Mercedes Sprinter, Freightliner, and Dodge Sprinters. Will fit these kits right here and i'll place the link in the description below of this kit that fits these models and the tool that i use to open the calipers i will place it in the link in the description below if you need it all right guys i hope you guys found this video helpful how to change your disc and brake pads for your whole van and if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and always drive safe